Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk are going to square off to determine who becomes the first ever undisputed heavyweight champion in the four belt era. This history is being made on May 18th. Now, traditional thought tells us that Tyson Fury, who is six inches taller and almost 60 pounds heavier at 6'9 and 280, is going to have a clear size and power advantage over the six foot three and 220 pound Usyk, who, as we all know, came up from cruiserweight. So a lot of people question if this 220 is even his natural weight. So I want to examine some footage here of both these guys throwing power shots to see if Usyk, who's known to, to be a dancer and a mover, when he sits down and throws power, if he can match up anywhere with what Tyson Fury's power is. And especially since Sugar Hill took over, Tyson Fury's knocked everybody out that he's fought except Ngannou, and we know he has power. So let's check out these clips. All right, here we go. Here's Usyk from a few years ago. Ooh, nice, hard, hard uh, right hooks. He's standing in the southpaw stance right here. Oof, real snap on the right hooks. There's his trainer. Is that Loma's dad? But anyways, he's, I think it is. He's, he's telling about to get more snappy on his punches. That's a really hard straight left. And you can see here that this is Usyk, I think, back when he was still cruiserweight. Um, you can see he's a little slimmer. And he says, peace out some, ooh, nice hard shots. Standing from the, from the South Pole stance, throwing really hard right hooks, hard straight lefts. If you look at the gloves too, he's wearing those old school kind of 1930s, 40s bag gloves that have way less padding. Ooh, a lot of speed and power. You see here with Usyk. Let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, Usyk is six foot three and he weighs now about 220. Here, he's probably about 200. Um, so he's still a big man, even though compared to Fury, he's way smaller. There, he's getting really good torque in his shots. See, we don't see U Usyk when he's in the ring. A lot of times, he's jumping around. He's trying to, he's always on the move. So he's not really committing to punches, especially at heavyweight now, he has to be more on the move. He can't sit there and get caught by a bigger man. And so we don't see a lot of these power punches, but look at him when he sits down. When he sits down on his shots, I mean, there's some serious power here. There now he's getting more instruction from his coach. Really hard power jab. He's doing all southpaw stance here. Um, I mean, I know he is a southpaw all the time, but I think he switches every now and then. Uh, but very, very hard shots. Very, look at very snappy. So he's throwing them short, crisp, and he's snapping his shoulder at the very end of them. Uh, surprising. I didn't know he had this kind of power. Um, now again. Ooh, very crisp, very crisp shots. Here's trainer says, do it again. Let's see what happens now. There we go. He really snapped his shoulder at the last one. Ooh, see, he, he gets way more pop when he throws him short, which has always been my theory to all of you who watch me. Short from a, from point A to point B in the shortest distance always creates the most power because you're letting all your energy travel the shortest amount of distance to hit its target. You know, the longer something travels, the more time it has to slow down. All right, so now his trainer is telling him to really get that torque behind it. Yeah, very nice, very, he's really snapping his shoulder on that straight left. Really turning his hip over. There we go, nice jab. All right, now here's another, him, him just going off on the back. Look at this, this is for more recently. This is a heavyweight here. Nice, all hooks and he's really popping him. That's a huge bag too. You can tell by how big that bag is. Look, look at the size of that bag. Because he's 220, 6'3". Really getting there. All, every punch there was short. It was a really snapping shoulder at the very end. All right, here's recent footage of Tyson Fury working that bag. Uh, just a massive man, Tyson Fury is. Pause. Uh, there he's doing that pity pat stuff. I, I've never been a fan of this. I've always said this. Floyd Mayweather started this. Like pity pat, pity pat, and then throw hard. My ex-trainer, Kevin Rooney, always told me every punch should be as hard and as fast as you could throw it. That's the best way to build endurance um, and and just be able to get you through the fight there. So he's still just pity patting, pity patting. Let's see him get some power shots in to compare the difference. Again, that bag looks smaller than Usyk's last bag, but Tyson Fury is also such way bigger of a man. It's hard to gauge uh, if the bag's that much smaller, if Fury's just that much bigger. But I think the bag's definitely smaller. So now he's just pity patty, pity patting. Uh, pity padding. Uh, he has a good sweat going here, so I'm pretty sure. There we go. Look at the speed and the leverage Fury has for such a. Oof. Really unbelievable speed and power for such a huge person. 
Very impressive. You see the sweat all over the bag. Yeah, that's, that's from rounds and rounds of hard work. I've been there. Nice body shots by Fury. It blocks a little. Blocks. This is almost nice. Nice body shots. This is almost like he's winding down from a hard workout. Fury did that overhand chopping right that he threw at Ngannou that was turned into an elbow. Kind of looked like that. Uh, very similar. But yeah, this is definitely how you, how you sometimes wind down from a long workout. You go a little slower. It's not all hardcore. There's just pity padding. He's also moving his feet. So in a way, it's almost like jogging. A lot of fighters do this. It's almost like jogging and jumping rope while hitting the bag. You know, boop, 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 boop. And then you stop and ah, ah, you dig, which he's probably about to do any second here. And he's standing, obviously, in the conventional stance because Tyson Fury is not a southpaw. He is a traditional right-handed fighter. Here we go. A little bit of work with the camera. There you can see this is obviously an open press workout. Tons of cameras in there. Uh, Fury not showing us much power just yet. But uh, let's see what unfolds as he starts really digging down in, in, into these shots. Um, Tyson Fury again is is uh, here again winding down. He's wearing leopard underwear, which I don't get, but okay. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Mike Tyson used to always wear underwear. Uh, here we go. He's about to unleash now. I could feel it. Um, Mike Tyson would always train in his underwear. It's like an old school kind of thing. I never did that, but um, I get it. You know, teach his own. Yeah, here goes Fury. So now he's just he's just moving, 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 moving. The goal of some of these sessions is to just keep your hands moving at all times because that does build endurance. Not nearly as much as if you're punching with conviction or with serious speed, but it does build endurance. There we go. Just really dig. Look at that. Short, crisp. Look how short those shots are. And crisp. Beautiful shots. Beautiful shots by Fury. All right, here we go. Ooh, here we go. Digging. Again, short. Look, he's really, oof, those triple left hooks are crazy. For a 6'9", 280 pounds, throwing triple left hooks with that speed and power. You see the difference. Look how this guy, that's uh, Christian, what's his name? I forget his name, Christian. I've interviewed him. Uh, heavyweight. See, even this guy here, he's a known guy too. I forget his name. See the way they move the heavy bag? Now watch Fury. Look at that. Fury's just rocking, the, making the bag jump like there's a spring in it. Oh, nice shoulder bump there. Beautiful stuff by Tyson Fury. Just showing his sheer size. Um, just that shoulder bump is a great addition. And, and that's legal, guys. And it really works well, especially when you're as big as Fury. And I think Usyk's going to get a lot of those shoulder bumps uh, when he's in there. He's going to get a lot. Of, look, even the shoulder bump of Fury's was way harder than, than this guy who just did it now. All right. And that ends that clip. Wow. I am shocked. Alexander Usyk has power. When he sat down on his punches, when he, when he stopped moving, as I was saying in the clip, he, as a heavyweight now, has to move around because these guys are bigger. He doesn't want to get caught with one of those shots. He has to be constantly on the move, be evasive. And another thing with him not wanting to get caught with a heavyweight shot, he also can't stop and plant to throw his own shot when you're on the move. So we haven't seen much power from Usyk, but when he sits down here and throws with power, I mean, he, he has all the perfect mechanics of throwing the hard punch that I always talk about. He goes from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time. Short shot. He keeps his arm perfectly welded. And he throws it without bending any wrist, without winding up. None of that. Because when a shot goes from point A to point B at the shortest amount of time and doesn't wind back, the shot is not losing any momentum and all of the leverage and the gravity is being pulled down. That's why when you punch downward, you're gonna generate more torque because gravity is giving you the assist. Usyk has great speed, but he has amazing short punches and shoulder snap when he sits down. Now, Fury though, on the other hand, after analyzing him, I never really uh, thought about it, but seeing this, Fury as well throws short, sharp, hard shoulder snapping shots. Matter of fact, both guys kind of throw similarly. Obviously, the difference is Fury has 60 pounds more of weight behind his shots, and he has six inches more of gravity leaning in his favor, and he's going to punch down every time at Usyk. So conventional wisdom says that Usyk can't win in any other fashion except possibly outboxing Tyson Fury. And Fury can only win by roughing up Usyk, leaning on him, getting close, hitting him with power shots, and of course, going to that body, which has been proven to be somewhat of a kryptonite for Alexander. But after seeing this video, do you guys think that Alexander Usyk, if he lands one of those shots where his legs are planted and he turns his hip and snaps his shoulder and hits Fury dead on the chin, 
like another former cruiserweight, Steve Cunningham did? Do you think he could drop and possibly knock out Fury? Or did you gather from this footage as Fury showed the power and the size he has that there's nothing Alexander can do in Fury? The second he touches Usyk, he's going to crumble him. I want to know if this footage changed or shaped your opinion in either direction on the outcome for the Undisputed Heavyweight Championship of the World between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk in May. Tell me in the comments.